We are extremely pleased that throughout this ordeal, there have been no injuries reported to either emergency responders or residents who have been forced from their homes. We have determined that there are three homes within the District of Peachland lost as a result of this fire and one abandoned home in the Central Okanagan West Electoral Area. Our hearts go out to the property owners who have suffered loss because of this fire. The homes that burned was a, was a cause of the wind driving the fire through the area of those homes. The wind drove the fire at a, in a distinct path and uh, when I went through there and looked at it, you could see it went right down the edge of an area and then it, it kind of made a few curves and that's, uh, that's what drove the, the fire into those areas. You know, our hearts go out to those who have suffered some loss and uh, I hope that uh, those who have been evacuated will rest assured that everything is being done to uh, return them safely to their homes. You know, you always want to come back, make sure everything's well, you know. Yeah, good relief. Obviously, the, uh, they had gotten things under control enough that we were, um, you know, able to come back. But I know we're still under an alert here. So, you know, until uh, until they know for sure that uh, that they've got most of the hotspots out, you're never uh, you're never out of the clear in BC. I mean, but that's uh, the price we pay for living here.